Hey everybody, it's Eric Johnson from Eric's Anthros Nation. In today's video, we're gonna talk about progression and some key things that you need to focus on to get more out of every training session. So check it out. In today's video, one of the things were, was we roll into the off season and I pulled up some clips of some young throwers because I think it's a really good uh, indicator of what you can be achieving and what you should be working on. And many of the things that you're working on when you're young are the same things you're going to be working on when you become either an advanced high school, collegiate, or, and beyond. So the process of throwing is essentially a, a series of biomechanical points and positions and you, you need to learn how to make all those movements happen naturally and then put it together so it can become very rhythmical. So one of the things we talk about in the throwing chain reaction is to be able to go through the basics of progression. We work on specific things and then we always kind of clear our head and we just try to become very rhythmical. So we try to add that in. It's And you can get stuck sometimes focusing so much on mechanics that you become mechanical and you really want to avoid that and that's something we always stress in the system apply positions and technique and mechanics and then think about one thing that's the basis of the chain reaction set up one key position and then go and basically let it, everything kind of fall into place and be reactive so two athletes today this is a good shout out to coach richard caps he is one of our members from Gold Coast Athletics down in the Gold Coast of Australia. And these are his two kids and he's done a phenomenal job. These kids move incredibly well. So we're gonna be looking at 10 year old Chelsea and I think uh, Charlie was her older brother and he's just about um, two years older. You're gonna notice that these guys move extremely well. They've only been thrown a couple years and I think it's just, you know, Coach Caps has done a phenomenal job. I'm really, you know, take it as a huge compliment that he's expressed how much the throwing chain reaction helped him because he had never been a throws coach prior. So, and I think that's a good point. Now, one of the things that we try to do and we stress and what we're gonna do in this video is talk about progression. And the key thing is not to just throw, but to throw with a very specific focus. So one of the basic things we're gonna have you do is we kind of set up, and this was a, a fast progression because we'd been at a camp and been training on different things. So what we focused on is we're gonna go through basically a pre-block or a stand throw. This is a variation of the finish. We're working on what we call as pillar five, six. And then we are going to, we call it a, a wheel drill or a modified wheel. So we're basically doing a you know 180 or a half turn. I say that a million times when I shoot video. And then we go to a full throw. And throughout it, we're going to be building and working on specifics. And we're going to focus on the specifics at those points of the throw. So here we're going to take a look at Chelsea. She's 10 years old. She is throwing right around just over 100 feet, so like 30, uh, 33 meters. And you're gonna notice that again, one of the key things that we try to teach in this position, you're gonna notice that she does really well. She's gonna have this kind of double bent legs, which is a really key position. That's gonna help hip rotation. She's got a really great orbit and she's creating nice length, right? So the, all of these things are gonna help create more stretch reflex, separation to create stretch reflex, and this is gonna allow her to really smash the lower body into the throw. So you're gonna see when she gets here, she's gonna pull in, and then you're gonna notice we focus on some things. We're gonna be focusing on block side, so block arm, block leg, delivery leg, and then whipping the discus. And you're gonna notice that she does that extremely well. So you're gonna notice when we show her here, the block elbow is really you know, locked at the side so that everything can move around and out into the throw. Now here's her older brother. And one of the things is um, you'll notice that he doesn't have, he's, he's listening to some of our cues and he's not quite as loaded on double bent legs. So his separation is going to be a little different. And in all fairness to Charlie, when we had done this camp, he had been still coming off of an elbow injury from throwing the jab. And so it kind of had a little influence on his ability to train. So he um, hadn't been thrown as frequently as his sister, but again, he's moving really well. And you're going to notice here just a couple of differences. He has the shift and he gets the foot moving, but you're going to notice his block is pretty solid and it comes right there. It stops. You kind of see the same thing, pulls the head a little bit, but you're going to notice the, the, the whole focus in the system is to be focusing on that block side and moving the delivery side out and around. Now, considering again, these kids have only been thrown two years. Dad had, had really never coached until he had utilized the system. And then you can see how good these kids move. 
it, it was a, it's a, a huge compliment, and it just goes to show how you know athleticism is key, but understanding the right thing so that those good athletes can develop better technique fast. So as we go through, you'll notice that those are the things. So we're working on block side delivery sequence. We're feeling stretch reflex. That's something we're gonna train throughout the whole throw and something we advise you guys to do too. So you don't just throw, you're working on very specific things. Again, that's what we do in our system. We have specific drills. We, put, we work the drills to teach the positions. Then we put together the progression of throwing and we kind of do that throughout and we build the throw. Okay, so now we're gonna take a look in the next progression we kinda, of, and this is again our simple progression where we kinda of go from our, we go, we call it a pre-block, which is a version of a stand throw to help engage the block side easier, and then to create that stretch and that sling, and then we're gonna to go to our wheels. So one of the things we're gonna be really conscious of is the hip position. Now this is what's interesting is you can see the older brother versus the sister, right? And the younger sister, actually, you're gonna notice that the hip position she's got her hips closer to the back foot and notice the length so this is the thing that we kind of noticed she had really exceptional feel and movement great movement for such a young athlete and so you're going to notice this little difference right the older brother he doesn't have the arms quite as lengthened and that is going to be a real subtle thing so that's a real simple tip that you guys can focus on always stay long and force yourself to move and utilize the lower body action faster. So you're gonna watch Chelsea as she comes in, does a really nice job, she's gonna push, she's gonna get back into that same position, engage the block, and you can see how she really pushes and drives the hip through. Now again, being that she's 10, she's pulling down a tiny bit, but remember, when we're looking at this video, this is a 10-year-old who's been throwing for two years. She's doing a phenomenal job, and she moves better than a lot of athletes. I have some guys who've thrown over 200 feet with the discus, and they don't do some of these things. They're just really talented athletes, but this, this athlete is keeping on par with some of their movement. So again, you can see that as she comes here, the key is is we're gonna feel that block and you're gonna notice that. You got that double, we get that leg, she gets back into that position and now she can engage the block. You're gonna notice the block arm there stopping and you're gonna see how she really pushes the hip through and she gets that hip really turning through so she collapses that foot. You can see again here, the block arm doesn't come past and so she's just really building and putting that extra amount of, of speed into our stand throw. So we call that going from you know pillar three, four, five, six now, whereas before she was working just pillar five, six. And then, so let's look at her older brother. So one of the things you're gonna notice, he, he loses that length he shortens that arm and the orbit's a little too high. So now he's gonna to try to keep that orbit. So this is one of those little adjustments and these are things you wanna look at. We're looking at keeping stretch, right? Separation, stretch, reflex, orbit. These are the things that we, we have to take into consideration because that's gonna affect the whole flow and rhythm of the throw. Now remember what I said at the beginning of the video, we have to be working on positions. We have to teach mechanics, throwing's unnatural, happens very quickly, and so we have to learn the positions, then we have to learn how it all connects and makes it fluid and rhythmical. So as we come here, you're gonna notice how the little brother comes in. So Charlie's coming in, nice position. He gets here again. You're noticing he's getting a little active, a little early as compared to his sister. She stays a little longer. You see that? She just stays a little longer there, and you can see how at this point, he started out a little shorter, action reaction, so he's a little shorter in, and that's gonna make him pull around a little bit more, whereas you're gonna see, you see how we can see her hand right here, and look at the at Charlie. So right here, when we're kind of at about an apples to apples position, we can't see Charlie's hand anymore, we can see his back of his shoulder, we can't see the back of Chelsea's shoulder, so she's setting a better block, and she's coming into it. So that's again one of your key things. When you're working in a throw, you have to understand how to set that block side so that you can have the delivery side coming out and around into the throw. And again, so now you can see pretty good throw though and pretty good movement, right? It, again, this is this is very good for that, but you're going to notice the foot, the blocking foot, he's more to the outside. That's because of how he got too active with the 
block side and therefore it's pulling him off where she's got a firmer plant and can smash it through and get her hip through. But he's got very nice positions as well, but these are gonna just be some different things. Notice what I started out in a very beginning thing, chain reaction, where were the hips in relation to the start of the throw and the length and that changes the whole movement. So now let's take a look at the full throw. So at this point, what we're gonna do is kind of sync them up. You're gonna see how we get to this position and they have slightly different styles. You're gonna notice how Chelsea is very naturally long. You're gonna see this again, that great length. And you're gonna notice that Charlie's got good positions, but he's just gotta lengthen it a little bit more. He's a little bit older. He's throwing a little bit heavier discus. So watch as they go. And you're gonna notice how they both move through very quickly. Remember the age. And this is why I'm showing you this because if 10 year olds and 12 year olds are gonna be moving this effectively, how important this is, if, as, especially as you get older. So these guys are establishing great habits and their dad coach has done a phenomenal job and it was a super fun to work with them and tweak, tweak up different things. But we kind of, kind of going back and looking at the full throw, you're gonna see again that high, look at how high she gets the orbit, look at how she's maintaining the length and she kind of pulls in and you see how she's getting that good sprint. And so that's pretty sweet position. You're gonna notice when we talked about, we recently did uh, an analysis and we looked at Stahl and we looked at Valerie Allman and you can see now this is a 10 year old. Imagine where this kid can be when she's 16. I told dad, let her play all kinds of other sports so that she's always excited to come back and throw because she's super talented and moves really, really well. So now you can see here, she gets to the high point, she moves it in. She's really does a great job of hitting that block. You can see how she just really cranks the hip through and creates a great whip on the discus. Really great. So now remember what we talked about from the beginning, we were talking about the block, the orbit, separation, stretch, reflex. And notice how we're still focusing on those things on the full throw. So we're putting it all together and again, going on, uh, moving on really good rhythm. Great movement, again, for a 10 year old, very, very impressive. And I thought if we can show you some 10 year olds for those of you out there, the coaches and everything else, the system works. You gotta work the system. Once you understand it, it's pretty easy. And that's what we're trying to do is take complexity and make it much easier to understand so we can get much better results. Okay, so we're gonna just take a look real quick at Charlie and we're gonna notice that and this is why it's a good comparison. So it's two athletes, same system, same coach, brother and sister. And you can see there's just a couple of little nuanced differences with Charlie. And so he's kind of just a little shorter from the beginning. But again, so notice when we look at the position there. So when we look at that position here, we can see there's a just a little bit more level. He drops the shoulder. And then as he comes out of it, gets into a pretty nice position here and you can see the, the difference, okay? And watch as she come, comes here, watch Charlie come here. So because he's a little shorter, you're gonna see him pulling around and that shoulder pulls around just a little bit more, but again, really great lower body delivery side hip, creates nice stretch on the discus. And again, same thing, as this guy gets older, he's gonna be moving that much better. That's the key to throwing, it's just a, time intensive, technically focused sport. But again, look at how well these kids are moving. So huge accomplishment for what these guys are doing technically. The point of this was to kind of show you progression that it's not just like take some stand throws, do some wheels and do some fulls. We were working on separation, stretch reflex. We we're working on the chain reaction, right? We're always setting the chain reaction, whether that's the stand throw, whether that's the wheel or whether that's the full. We set the chain reaction and become reactive. And so we understand where we can identify inefficiencies in the throw and, and assign drills to train the movement pattern. That's basically how our system works. When you're throwing, focus on your progression and focus on specific things. This is how you get the most out of every practice. So every throw becomes uh, more productive towards getting you to master better technical positions. So hopefully that helps, gives you guys some insight. It can give you some motivation. Thanks so much. Again, remember, if you like this video, be sure to give us a comment below, see what you, what else you'd like to see in the future. Be sure to share, hit that subscribe button, throw a like, thumbs up, and we'll see you on the next video.